Hey everyone, Glenn McGregor here from CTV News in what I hope will be only a temporary home studio that I've had to set up here during the coronavirus crisis. Uh, and like a lot of people, uh, I'm trying to find ways to keep my kids occupied because they're both home from school. And I've decided to teach my younger daughter how to juggle. Um, and to do that, uh, I ordered some of these balls. They're just beanbag balls that you can get uh, on Amazon for like 15 bucks. Uh, but if you, don't have, if, you, if you can't get those, uh, any sort of three objects of about this size will work. Mandarin oranges are great. They're perfect size. They're easy to grip. Although if you drop them a bunch of times, uh, they, they'll start to get mushy. Nice thing about the bean bags though, if you drop them on the floor, they're not going to roll away on you and uh, you don't have to reach under the couch or under the coffee table. So let's start with the basic fundamental skill, which is just the pass from one hand to the other. You can start with your left hand or your right hand, doesn't matter. But what you want to do is throw the ball up about this high. Just, just over your head, and then catch it with the other hand. Up, catch. Up, catch. Up, catch. And a little trick is when you throw it, try and keep your hand open after you release it. Up, catch. Up, catch. Like that. So get your kid to practice that a bunch of times, going back left to right, right to left, until they've got it down so that they can do it pretty consistently in a pattern. Okay, and then we go to two balls, okay? This is the same process, put one in each hand. And what we're gonna do is throw one up, and when it gets to the top of the arc, you're gonna throw the other one. And it's easier if you kind of throw it on the inside of the ball that is descending. So the process is throw, throw, catch, catch, okay? So I'll show you how that goes. So we go throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch. And you should practice doing it starting with either with both the left hand and the right hand. So you go throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch. Okay. This is the hard part. It could take you a while to get your kid to learn that. A little trick, trick here is if you can get he or she to do it up against a wall, and have the ball bounce off the wall, that slows it down. So you have a little more time to think about the next throw and to prepare for the catch, okay? So throw, throw, catch, catch, okay? And that, if you can master that, juggling is pretty easy because all you're gonna do is add a third ball and keep the cycle going, okay? And you start with two balls in one hand, one ball in the other, okay? Left hand or right hand, doesn't matter, whatever they're more comfortable with. And you're gonna, th the, the hand that has the two balls, that's the one you're gonna throw first, and then you're gonna run that throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch pattern, okay? And this is the way it looks. Super easy, okay? So you can just go back and play this video over and over again um, to get those uh, basic skills down, and they will have something they will remember all their lives, and hopefully by the end of this, they'll be pretty good at it. One quick note, I've shot this video in portrait mode just to better capture the flight of the balls. If you're out there with your cell phone and you see something in the wild that you think might be news, flip your phone into landscape mode so we can put it on television. Our TV editors will thank you for it. Good luck.